All right, so um, Liza and I are trying something out tonight. We've got a hat with letters in there. We're gonna pick out a letter and we're gonna spend three or five minutes. I three. Three minutes looking up a topic that starts with that letter. And then we're gonna tell you about it in this episode. So Liza, go ahead, pick out a letter for us. All right, what letter do we get? Oh. We have the letter O. So what are we gonna look up? What comes to mind when you think of the letter O? Octopus. Okay, let's look up octopus. There you go. So, what do you want to start with? Okay, so I looked up on Wikipedia. Uh -huh. Wikipedia may not be the reliable source, but it's Wikipedia. Okay. And according to this, the lap, there's octopus, the word Octopus comes from an ancient Greek Latin word, which I do not know how to say, but it literally translates to eight foot. Eight foot. Eight foot, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So the Greeks must have found these things first, right? Yeah. All right, so that's cool. Now, I saw somewhere on Wikipedia how they appeared in coins back in the day. Um, Cretan and Minoan coins dating back to 1,650 years BC. Wow. So that's pretty old. All right, so let's start with, uh, I went to onekind.org and found amazing facts about octopuses, right? So here's some fun ones. Um, they have poisonous saliva. So their spit is actually poisonous, which I thought was interesting. And they've got a beak, that's what they use to chew with, and they use tools so they can like hide, if you watch this one here. So my screen's recording this one, so we'll play it on the screen here without any sound. And you can see here how the octopus is using, go back to right about here, watch this. So the octopus is using this shell to hide under. So this one is walking with it, right? And then here, it's crawling inside of it to hide. Is that cool? That's pretty cool. Yeah. So octopus can use like tools like that um, to, to protect themselves, which is pretty neat. Okay, what else do you have? Well, I also found out that Octopuses have three hearts, two to pump blood through each of the two gills, while the third pumps blood through the body. Okay. So, they have a heart just to pump. Two hearts just to pump blood to the gills. Okay. One heart to pump blood through the whole entire body. Well, on us, we have one pump, one Hard to pump us through the whole entire body, brain, and everything. Well, they have two. So their gills are kind of doing the same things as lungs do. So, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. I didn't even say it. Uh, let's see. So, what else is there? Their eyes have eight arms. They've got suction cups on them. Um, they use tools. When you eat them, they're called calamari. All right, have you eaten octopus? Nah, I don't think so. I had it once on pizza. It wasn't it was an interesting pizza. Very interesting pizza. Well, there are also around 300 recognized octopus species, which is over one third of the total number of known, whatever that word is, species. Cool. I remember they did a study once on octopuses watching television. <laughs> they, did. they did. No, what they were doing was they were trying to find out um, if the octopus could see television and understand it. And so for our old TVs, right, you remember when we were growing up, they would they would show a different picture because that's all movies are, different pictures at like 24 frames a second. The octopus's brain is so close to its eyeball 
that it would process those pictures as just pictures. It would look at them as a bunch of still photos, kind of like a slideshow, right? And, but the only way it would see a series of pictures as something was if it was 60 pictures a second. So octopuses can only see television in high definition. And by the way, what do you mean back in our time? So back, well, when you were little, we had that old TV. All right, so I'm on Google I Trends. I was little. You were though. All right, so I'm on Google Trends, right? You remember from that Pompomus video what oh, I used Google yeah, Trends for? Cool. All right, so octopus had a spike in July of 2010. For some reason, octopus was widely searched. Who should we compare octopuses to? Cats. Cats, all right, so let's see what's more popular, octopus or cats? I've never known any octopus people before. I've known cat people. All right, so cats are pretty popular. Let's put octopus near them. Octopus, see what happens. Who's winning, octopus or cats? With that spike in there, ooh. Yeah, so on the average, octopus is, uh, is really, really low. There's a, there's a big gap in between the number of times octopus are searched for versus cats. But uh, right here, did octopus win? Almost. Yeah. Actually, it did. So cats, 71, octopus, 77. That's our new one. What else? So we're going to compare it to dogs? I got four. We're saying animals. Okay, let's see. Yeah, are cats more popular than dogs? Oh, ho, ho. Dogs. Go dogs. Dogs are more popular than cats. All right. Another is to get a dog, Dad. All right, so there is a video on YouTube uh, with the octopus on a boat and how it gets off the boat. Uh, That's going to be interesting. Yeah, so they can, because they don't have any, uh, because the octopus doesn't have an all, any uh, vertebrae, right? There's no bones in it. The only thing it has is a beak. So it can fit through any hole that is the size of its beak. So take a look at this one here. So this octopus is going to sneak its way out. Now when you put this on the thing, you can it's make it small. It's not sneaking its way out. You'll be surprised. So it's got one tentacle going down. You see that little slit of a hole? It's feeling for the water. And so it felt the water, right? Watch this. The guy's going to take the camera and move it outside so you can see that the octopus feels the water. See, so he steps over with the camera. Can you imagine doing that? That'd be like, whoa, don't step on the octopus. So he's squeezing out because he felt the water outside. You see that? So now he knows where the water's at. Have you ever seen this one before? Yeah, but he's still not sneaking. He's widely noticeable. Okay. Yeah. All right, if you don't think that this is cool, sneaking out. Look at that, those are welds on the ship. All right, so he steps over again. You know, one of the things I like about YouTube is you come down over here and you can make it go faster. All right, so now I'm using it at 1.25. So it's gonna look like the octopus is moving much faster, but then if the video, if the speaker presenting the video is a little slow, I can just go ahead and speed it up. So I like that cool. part. Look at that, there it goes, Blink. So when's its head coming out? There's another arm, there's its head right there. Squeezing out. See, there's an eyeball, I think. I think that's yeah. an eyeball. Is that its head coming out last, or is that... Yeah, that's its head coming out last. Flunk. There it is. And it's bye-bye! Yeah. So, and there it goes. So, octopus can get out of really small holes. They've got other ones as well that you can... Ew. You can, so yeah. Is that person eating one? Yes. So some cultures eat octopuses. Live? I don't know about. Yeah, I think there is a way to do it live. Um, let's, let me go puke up. Let's look so that up. That nope, no. All right, so eat octopus live. Um, eating live octopus. So there's a National Geographic. Oh wait, here's a thing. It's called Sanakaji, something like that. Okay. S-A-N-N-A-K-J-I is a variety of ho or raw fish in Korean cuisine. It consists of a small octopus that has been cut into small pieces while still alive and served immediately. Usually lightly seasoned with sesame uh, and sesame oil. The pieces are usually still squirming on the plate when served. 
It can also be served as a whole wide baby octopus. Because the suction cups on the arm pieces are still active when the dish is served, special care should be taken when eating. Um, the active suction cups can cause swallowed pieces of arm to stick to the mouth or throat. This can also present a choking hazard for some people, particularly if they are intoxicated. It means they've been drinking, right? So, uh... Okay, let's not eat this. Okay, so this is served in Korean restaurants, it's sort of sliced raw fish, but it can also be found at bars as a snack to accompany alcoholic beverages such as soju. So this would be a thing. If we ever go to Korea, this might be one of those things that we do, because in France, we had to eat escargot, right? You had escargot when we were on the, the cruise this summer. Yeah. But that was when we were in France, it was when we were in Norway. Right, so let's take this word here, right? Whatever this is, sanjigi, whatever. Let's throw that in Google Trends, Trends, right, and compare it to octopus. So how popular is octopus compared to... Oh, we've got a network error. Let's try this again. Network error, really? Oh, I have to sign in again. Luckily, your process is showing the whole entire word. No, it's just showing the world we have a bunch of dots. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, if I'm listening to that on a podcast, I'm not going to get it. All right, so here's the word that means the live eating octopus thing. Okay, and then we're going to compare that to octopus. So, well, you can see before we do that, look at this. So this word was barely a blip back when Google started, and now it is trending upwards. So maybe more people are eating it or more people are just learning about it. In fact, it got a big spike so far this year. It's only March, and so far for March, the data is higher than any of the other years it's done. Mm. Right, so here we go, octopus. So octopus is still more popular than the term for eating the octopus. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, there's going to be a huge gap in between. So like here in the most popular month for Santa Kiji, right, it doesn't even compare. All right, so you think we've learned something about octopuses? Yeah. Octopi, how do you say the plural? What's the plural? I'm on dictionary.com. Narrow octopi is the plural. Mm -hmm. right, so let's get the audio up so you can hear it. So it's octopi. Octopi, or octopuses. Both of them will work. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else you wanna add? Nope. You gonna eat a live octopus if you ever go to Korea? I'll make you eat it, I'll just watch and enjoy and watch you die. <laughs> so you're going to enjoy watching me die by a live octopus. So, for the record, my teenage daughter is contemplating my death by a live octopus. Uh, and that's the thing. Alright, so that's a wrap and you're going to put all this together? Yep. Alright, cool.